Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So, today, guys, we do my Europa League predictions for the year 2020-2025. Just like I did for the Champions League, we're going to be doing our predictions of all the placements of all the teams. I predicted all the games of the Europa League, guys. This was a very time-consuming, very difficult task. So, it was really difficult. It took a lot out of me. And, yeah, like I said, guys. So, before we get on to the predictions, I do want to let you guys know how the format's going to work. So, basically, the 25 to 36 are going to be eliminated from the Europa League. There is no access to the conference, so you don't drop down. You're instantly eliminated. The 16 to 24 is the knockaround playoffs. And if you finish in the top eight of the 16 to 24, you get seeded and then the, um, knockaround playoffs, round of 32. And then if you finish the lower end, you will not be seeded. And then the top eight is directly guarantees themselves a spot in the round of 16. So that, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started. And let's start with the the, 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 the eliminated team. So I'm going to go scroll through these quickly, guys. I'm not going to dwell too much in. You know, I want to keep this video concise. I'm going to make this too long. So starting with the worst place team I got is Augsburg. I just think they're the worst team here. I'm sorry to the Swedish club here. I just don't think there's any hope for this team. And then we got RFS, um, the Latvian team. I just don't see much hope either for this team. Sucks to be them. 23 points. Another team I just don't think will do well. Ludogorets. I'm sorry. I just don't see them doing well. Bodo Glimpse. I think Bodo Glimpse will really struggle here. This is a difficult. They do have the games at home, which they could potentially do well. I just don't see them much hope on the road. Their basically best hopes of progression is by home games. 31st time is Mekhiba Tel Aviv. I don't think they'll do as well. I just think they're outmatched in most of the games. RSC and Elect. I just don't think they have enough quality, unfortunately. I think they'll come up close, but not have enough points. FCSB, the Romanian team, I don't think we'll have enough, unfortunately. They've got Michelin. I think they're going to miss out. Malmo, I think we'll miss out. Um, and then AZ Alkmaar will miss out narrowly in Dinamo Kiev. So all these teams, I think we're going to put up. Most of these teams, I think we'll put a decent fight, but not have enough for a top 24. So 24th place, I have is Victoria Pleasant. I think we'll get seven points. Polk, I think we'll get nine. Then I have Ferenc Vars to get nine. Slavia Prague to get 10. Rangers to get 10. Lazio to get 10. I think Lazio will really struggle on the road. They'll pick up points at home, which they're really good, but away from home, they're very questionable. So don't be surprised if they lose two teams they shouldn't be. Uh, Rangers are a good Europa League team, of course. We know the pedigree they have. They made it to the Europa League final a few years ago. Slavia probably is a good tough team to play against. Franz Varos, they're not that great, um, but I think they'll scrape by. Falk is a good team. I rate them high. I rate. Them. I think they could be one of the dark horses for the Europa League. And Victor Pleasant, I think they're a good team. 18th quarterback, I think the quarterback will do well at home. The 7th place, I have is Union SG. I think Union SG will do well. They're a good Belgian team. I remember they knocked off Frankfurt and they beat Liverpool. I think Union SG is definitely a team that could surprise people and do well, especially at home. The 16th place, I have is Braga. I think Braga is a good team, guys. A very underrated team. The 14th place, I have is AZ Alkmaar. I think they'll do well. Uh, 14th place is your uh, current Conference League winners, uh, Olympiacos. I think they'll do well in the knockaround playoffs. 14 points. 13th, I have his Leo with 15. And then I have uh, 12th, I have his Nice with 15. 11th, where Frankfurt is 16. And then Bilbao with 16. And then Besiktas, 18. So Besiktas miss, just missing out of the top eight, which is crazy. Now, moving to the top eight, guys. So in eighth place, I have his Ferenbache. I think Ferenbache will just scrape by 18 points by the virtue of goal difference. Seventh, seventh place, I have his Roma. I think Roma will also just do enough with 18 points. Sixth is Ajax with 18. Fifth is Manchester United with 18. Fourth is Porto with 19. Third is Tottenham Hotspur with 19. Second is Galatasaray with 21. And first is Real Sociedad. So fun fact for you guys, I actually have Real Sociedad to go unbeaten. Unbeaten, guys. Real Sociedad is the only team going unbeaten. So um, looking at the top eight there, it's probably to expect your top eight. These are probably the eight strongest teams. And you would probably expect these eight teams to uh, finish and maybe in somewhere in this order. Um, the thing is, guys, I'm confident of these teams. I'm just not really confident where they're going to place. That's the hard part. But I'm confident with the team. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Do you agree with my predictions? Um, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, guys, it's going to be very interesting to see how this prediction ages. I will definitely be doing a reaction video when all this is said and done. And let's see how it ages, man. And best of luck to all 36 of these teams. Uh, by the way, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. And peace. Out.